It's been a long, long time since I've talked about Decky. It's one of the coolest things you can install on your Steam Deck that isn't a game or emulator. It's a plugin framework, and these plugins exist to enhance your game mode experience. So what are you waiting for? Enhance your Steam Deck experience. Here be dragons. Your mileage may vary, there may be some instability when it comes to Deki. In cases like this, it's always a good idea to uninstall Deki and then reinstall Deki. Speaking of installing and reinstalling Deki, installing Deki is very simple. In desktop mode, go to the Deki's GitHub page, proceed to download Deki, and then run the executable file. If you have an admin password set up, type it in. If you don't have one set up, Deki will automatically temporarily make one for you and then remove it afterwards. From here, two to three options will pop up. You can choose to either install stable or install the pre-release. Obviously, the most stable option would be to select stable. Switching update branches is as easy as rerunning the executable and then switching branches. And should the need arise, you can always uninstall Deki as well. Just run the executable and then uninstall Deki from there. And you should be good. All you have to do now is let it finish installing, and once it finishes installing, you can go straight to game mode and it should be active. If nothing shows up, you may want to restart your Steam Deck, just to be sure. To see what all the hubbub is about, go into your quick access menu. You'll see an entirely new menu there. This entire menu will be blank, but you'll see two options, the first of which is the settings option. Here you have access to all of these different options for Deki. Also in here is a place to update your plugins. If you have plugins installed and they need to be updated, all you would need to do is press update to and then update. You can also uninstall plugins from here as well. So I don't know if the Deki devs are watching this, but you know what would be really nice here? A button that says update all plugins. Because as you can see here, I had to update a bunch of plugins at once and it was really tedious. That's the video. That's how you get started with Deki. But you know, I just realized something. I never really told you about the plugins. You know, like the most important part of this whole fucking Deki launcher thingy, the plugins, right? I think it's time we talk about them. Let's start with CSS Loader. Basically, CSS Loader is an extension in which you get to modify how your Steam Deck looks on the inside. It's been around for a bit, and now there are a ton of different themes. Themes can also get updated as well if needed. You would download these themes, and then you would enable them at the flick of a button. Different themes do different things, and you can combine themes to make your own special theme, though not all themes combine very well. There are also themes on the store that act more like suites of themes instead, going for a more specific look. And yes, there's quite a few that are just anime. And now you can fulfill your darkest weeb desires. Next up is How Long to Beat for Deck. How Long to Beat is basically a game that tells you how long it'll take to beat a game. Not just in terms of how long it'll take to beat the story, but how long it may take you to complete everything. Your mileage may vary though, because it's based on an average system. Obviously, depending on your skill level, it could take you more or less time to beat a game. What I do like is that it takes into account many situations. I like that this database tells you how long it'll take you to do different objectives in the game, like the difference between beelining the story and beating the game 100%. Next plugin is is Vibrant Deck. Vibrant Deck is used to change the saturation and your various gamma levels of your Steam Deck screen. I'm not entirely sure why this wasn't an option just given to us in the Steam Deck, but here we are. This is definitely more for someone that's going to use their Steam Deck portably. I would not recommend this if you're going to dock your Steam Deck to an external display. Next up is Audio Loader. Audio Loader lets you change the sound effects on your Steam Deck, as well as introduce background music to your Steam Deck's user interface. I think it would be easier for me to demonstrate. Next up is the ProtonDB badges. ProtonDB is a database run by the community on whether or not games work well on Linux or not. You can set up the ProtonDB badge to be smaller or bigger. You can also set which corner you want the badge to be in. 
In this case, I prefer the badge being in the top right corner. You'll have to exit a game and then enter the game again to see the difference. There will be times when Proton DB's ratings are at odds with Valve's official rating for a game. In the case of Halo, the Master Chief Collection, the game is officially marked as unsupported. But if you launch the game without anti-cheat, which is an option that Microsoft gives you, you can play the game perfectly. It works amazingly. So yeah, the Proton DB badge can be useful. You can even click on that Proton badge right there if so desired. It launches Proton DB and you get to read all the entries for that specific game in Proton DB. You'll need a mouse or touchscreen to navigate the website though. This next plugin is probably the most interesting plugin in the entire Decky store. The Pause Game Extension. What does this do? At the flick of a button, you can pause a game if so desired. This is very different from using the game's built-in pause function. The game is more or less suspended. It consumes no CPU or GPU, but any RAM and VRAM that your game takes up will still be taken up. You can also unpause the game immediately. There are even options to have a game automatically pause when suspended, or pause your app when it's not in the foreground. Enabling this second option allows you to flip-flop between games at will, provided you have the RAM and VRAM to run both. Meaning I can flip-flop between Halo and an indie game at will. Should you do this? Probably not, you'd have to be a mad lad of some sort to do this. But it's physically possible, provided you have the system resources. So yeah, in its current form, it's pretty cool. But imagine if you could do this and free up your RAM and VRAM at the same time. It would be like having Xbox Quick Resume on your Steam Deck. That would be totally bonkers. Next up is Music Control. By itself, Music Control does nothing. But with some sort of music application running in the background, you can use this plugin to control whatever music application is running in the background. And yes, your web browser also counts as that as well. Yes, that's right. That means you can control YouTube videos playing in the background. It's not just your web browser or even just YouTube. You can use basically whatever music player you want. You can use whatever music website you want, like Spotify. I just find that YouTube is the easiest way to listen to music. Next up is Bluetooth. That's right, it's just called Bluetooth. You use it to reconnect paired devices on your Steam Deck. If you're trying to pair new devices to your Steam Deck, you have to go into settings and take care of all of that. And definitely my favorite one is Auto Flat Packs. Auto Flat Packs manages your flat packs you've downloaded on your Steam Deck. Typically, to update your flat packs, you have to go into desktop mode and then launch the Discover App Store and then update them from there. With this plugin, it's as easy as going to the plugins menu and then searching for updates and then pressing the Update All button. There are also other options too. If you click on this button, you get to look at all of your flat packs that you've installed, as well as a log. It's very work in progress, but I quite like it. If you have a lot of flat packs, definitely get this plugin. You won't regret it. I've shown off plenty of plugins today, but these aren't the only plugins available to you to download. There are plenty of others that warrant their own videos, like Power Tools and Memory Deck. Of course, like with anything these days, your mileage may vary when it comes to these plugins. There were three other plugins I really wanted to try out, but for whatever reason, I couldn't get them to work. Like for example, Moon Deck. Instead of streaming through Steam's own built-in streaming protocol, it instead would stream through Moonlight, a superior streaming protocol, but kind of clunky to use on the Steam Deck. In theory, this plugin would have solved all of my issues with Moonlight on Steam Deck. It would have been easy to use and more seamless to use as well. I followed all the directions to the letter and it didn't work for whatever reason. I'll need more time to figure out this extension right here. I even tried the Steam Grid DB plugin and for whatever reason that one straight up did not work whatsoever. You can even see the error messages popping up. I also tried the Emu Achievements plugin, a plugin that's supposed to show my achievements for retro titles. For whatever reason, it would not let me log in. I put in my username and API key, but I still couldn't log in for whatever reason. So as I said before, here be dragons. For the record, I do like Deki. And it is a lot more stable than it used to be. Just keep in mind that sometimes plugins don't work as expected. And I do think the developers will get around to fixing it. If you like high tech lowlife, you should check out the rest of my channel. And if you like the rest of my channel, you should like, subscribe, and spread the good gospel of high tech lowlife. Furthermore, we have a community Discord server. There's a link in the description down below. Check us out.